welcome to the dreaded sisterhood, the club you never wanted to be a member of. In the United States, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. In 2008, it was my turn. I mean, I knew there was a ton of stuff that I could research online. And the doctors gave me books and pamphlets that I could read, but I need to talk with people, people who could help me figure out what I might be going through, what it might feel like, and most importantly, that I was not going to be doing this alone. My robot name is Misi Enemy. I'm named after my father's mother. I had a question I had to ask, never ask my father, but I did ask mom and say, how did you greet her? You know, how did you ask how you met her? Hello, Misi Enemy. You know, is Misi Enemy here? But I'm very honored to have this name after my, my grandmother. I was born in 1941. I was born when the uh, grass turns brown. Anyway, it's the fall. I used to live in this log house in um, 1946. One of my sisters was the first child in our family was born in this house, I remember. And uh, I have a brother who was born in another log house, but it was kind of not too common, but a lot of the people was born at home. They had midwives. Just one big room. There was two beds, my dad and I's bed, and then our bed. And uh, very few items in the house. No closets, no dressers. I was the first born to my parents. And after that, she had 13 more children having kids, you know, like every two years, pretty soon, every year. So I'm the oldest of 14. From coming from a big home, we were very disciplined. Before I know it, then I was sent out of the home to, um, mom said, get ready. You're going to uh, boarding school. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't even know it was out of state. So left my home when I was 14 and went to Flandreau, South Dakota for four years. But I got to Flandreau. In the school, first thing I did, bought a pack of cigarettes, went downstairs in the smoke room, pulled my big long cigarette out, lit it up, put my feet up on a bench and sat there and smoked. No mom, no mom. So we used to do the twist. Uh-huh. We done the um huckabuck and the jerk and the monkey and we done all those dances. Today, there's a lot of stories, negative stories. For me, the boarding school was great. It was my home for four years. There was, wasn't all these little kids and babies, you know, and uh, I had my own bed and go take a shower and turn on a water and, you know, where we didn't have that at home. And I'd, we'd come home and come back to what was there when I left and nine months ago.